Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Q Stead Q. What you gonna do? I don't know, but something's gonna grow. Well, I came back for a few minutes just to show y'all the last video came out bad. In fact, I'll probably end up deleting it. Uh, look at this. So the squirrel got a hold to the green beans again. Although I have bloom, so I'm going to just leave it there and see if I get any more green beans. And the leaves are trying to grow back. We're in the 80s right now for the next three or four days. See, there's a green bean right there that he had got a hold to. But we're in the 80s for the next three or four days. But Friday, the uh, bottom is going to fall out. Hey, there's a green bean. I'm going to let that grow. Once the bottom falls out, we're supposed to be in the low 50s, probably for the next couple of weeks. In fact, look at this. Let me get this harvest. Because I told my sister, guess what? I was like, the squirrel got your green beans, so I'm not going to be able to get you as many as I was hoping, but I'm finding green beans in here. Wait, there's one. Here's another. I'm going to go and grab that. Uh, here's two back here. Let's get these. May as well, huh? And those have come since the squirrel attacked, so, because I already had flowers that he didn't get to, so they went on and produced these little five green beans that I just got. And there's, here's a couple of more. They're not ready yet. I'm going to leave those. There's one. Okay, well, I'll keep fighting. There's a flower, so I'm gonna let them stay. And see, they're not gonna produce like they would have had no animal uh, bothered them, but whatever I can get, I'm gonna get, since it's the end of summer. Let's look at the eggplant. Looks like my little blooms. I don't know. I don't think there's enough strength to get them going, so. And it, I mean, it's blooming good, too. But uh, I don't think it's going to make it. This is full of powder, powdery mildew, as they call it. But I still have a few good leaves on there that I could possibly consume. Oh, and look at there. My first patty pan on this one. So I'm going to see what happens. The bees are gone now. Because we had a few cold days. And as y'all can see, the lima bean plant is now dead. So I won't let that die all the way and throw that in the compost bin. I have a pollinated patty pan over here and a few more patty pans coming, but there's the pollinated one right there. So I'm gonna see what it does. And look at the crowder peas, y'all. I've, I've got flowers galore. This last little stretch of 80 degree weather brought about some flowers hopefully I can get them to bloom and uh it looks like I'm gonna get a, quite a few uh crowder peas if the frost don't come now we're not scheduled for a frost until around the 15th of this month so and we know how quickly things grow so if those flowers can go on and bloom for the rest of the week while we're getting this 80 degree weather then uh they'll be fine the 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 uh the uh, the uh, crowder peas will start growing and hopefully I can get some. Now here's some, there's some on this plant. There's some more there growing. We got a whole bunch of them over here, some back there. So I just want enough for a pot full. Now let's come over here. I pulled seven patty pan the other day. They weren't quite ready, but they were ready enough. Uh, they were smaller. They could have gotten bigger, but I had like 19 on this plant and I said, it's taking away the energy. So I went on and uh, pulled seven of them and I still have quite a few. Wait, uh, I have nine of them left because I had, wait, let's see. I think I said I had 18 or 19 patty pans. Oh, and I pulled a whole bunch of peppers today. I already took them in the house and I still have a lot more coming. So I'm going to just let them keep going until the frost hits. And sometimes the first frost won't kill off your plant. 
you know, if it gets warm enough the next day, it can survive the frost. So, you know, I'll just see. So I've got patty pan here. And so hopefully these smaller ones will gain enough energy to uh, get a little bit bigger for me. But I've got enough patty pan now to make that patty pan pudding, which is a Louisiana staple. So I think I'm gonna try to make that. And I have some, you know, enough. I cut some up and uh, froze it. I didn't, I didn't blanch it, but I just froze it because I'm gonna be eating them during the winter with my fish. I like to fry patty pan slices. It is delicious. My, um, my uh, strawberries are doing excellent. I went on and rooted the rest of them. The ones that y'all saw me root last week already have roots. I just haven't planted them yet. I'll get them planted next week. I want the roots to get a little bit longer. And uh, my garden club contacted us on today uh, and they have free garlic bulbs for us. I don't know where they ordered them from. So uh, I'll be going to pick those up as soon as I find out the location. And I'm going to have extra garlic to grow. And I'm going to probably stick those, the, the new bulbs, in the uh, keyhole garden. The other bulbs are in my container up front. The ones that I ordered from Keen. And so I uh, sent them a message letting them know that I have so many of the white pine strawberries that uh, I'm willing to donate at least five of them. So five people will be getting a $32 plant for free. So, and they can start their own white pine strawberry bed. I like to do that because they gave me that scholarship this year and it's real cheap anyway to join the garden club and everybody has the same passion. And then, you know, I got my garden buddy. I already got her some uh, strawberries. So, and hers is really growing. So her plants have gone from one plant all the way up to like eight or nine. Actually more than that because I gave her Ozark also. So, uh, yep, so I'll bless somebody because I've been blessed. Okay, well, let me get on and back in this house. I can show you the pepper harvest since I'm in here. But, oh, and I meant to show y'all at the Keyhole Garden, I put my compost in today. It was halfway full, and uh, I forgot to show y'all that. I'm not walking back out there. Oh, and I went today, uh, my doctor, all my blood results came back horrible, okay, horrible. And so, and let me cut on my, uh, I'm going to cut on the grow light because I have this uh, plant. It was from my brother, my late brother-in-law's funeral back last February and uh, this I need to repot it but it's growing so well but I try to give it two hours of the grow light every night because you know now we're dark by seven o'clock p.m. whereas you know when when this started really growing good it was getting dark at like 9 30 p.m. so I figured it, it needs more light because see how some of the leaves are starting to yellow between that and it need to be repotted. So I'm gonna go uh, probably this weekend to find a pot, a bigger pot for it and get it repotted before the cold weather sets in. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so I'm walking through here, it's dark already. I think it's just now getting to be seven o'clock. It'll be dark in the next 10 minutes. Ooh, and excuse my living room as usual. Y'all, let me show y'all. I made a cake the other day. And as you can see, hold on, let me set those green beans down. As you can see, it's just about gone. I made that on Saturday. It's a small, it was a small cake. In fact, I'll show you the pan because I'm getting ready to wash it with my dishes here. This is the pan I cooked it in, but that's still too much for me to be eating. But let me tell y'all, it was just a regular 99 cent box cake. And it was a butter cake. So the ingredients for me to add was three eggs, uh, three tablespoons of butter, and water. And so to take it to the next level, I decided to add some of my rum vanilla that I made myself. When I tell you that extra ingredient doctor in that cake took it to the next level, I ain't been able to stop eating it since. And as you can see, it's almost gone. <laughs> So anyway, uh, 
and there's my coof, y'all. I'm going to look online uh, this weekend. Well, yeah, th uh, before this weekend, actually, and see coof, y'all recipes. I'm getting ready to eat that bad boy. I can make that with Sunday dinner, with whatever I have. I want a meatloaf, but I've got to see how much uh, ground beef is now because uh, I haven't yet had meatloaf in a year because ground beef is so high. And I just cannot justify paying $12, $13 for a small pack of ground beef, or not ground beef, but what do I have? The ground chuck. That's what I use because it has less uh, grease in it. I just cannot see paying that much money for that uh, for meatloaf. So I'll see. Maybe the prices have come down. That's wishful thinking. And my basil is drying out real good. So once it's good and dry, I'll get it crushed up. I got some there and some over there. I don't know if you can see it right there. Yep. So uh, that's it. Oh, and my peas are blooming again. And see, I got my fishing stuff together. Uh, we're going back on the 15th. So that'll be my last trip for the year. So Q-Stead is winding down. And I'll be starting to go into my hermit phase. Oh, but back to the vitamin D. Yeah, my vitamin, my, my blood work was horrible. But then my vitamin D, my doctor said it was almost non-existent. The range is from 30 all the way up for your levels. Mine was a 9. And I felt it. My eyes have dark circles. I was feeling rugged. I was using my little sun lamp and all this stuff because I'd be so tired. My back was hurting. I had all these crazy symptoms. And when he told me that, he prescribed me the highest dosage possible. So I went and picked up the vitamin D uh, on today, and I took my first one, and I feel better already just after an hour because I took it at about 6 o'clock. And I feel better already after taking that first pill. So y'all keep me in prayer. And hopefully that will uh, subside and I can get back to normal here. Because I want to have my strength up for that fishing trip. Because right now, it's not. <laughs> I never did show y'all my cotton from last year. And I never did uh, spin it. But, you know, I can still spin it this uh, winter. Because uh, I, I grew it to make yarn. And then I grew some more this year and don't know what happened to it. It just disappeared, okay? I started cotton seeds for my sister. But I started a few for myself, too. And they all sprouted. I don't know what happened to those cotton plants, to tell you the truth. So neither one of us got it. So I'm going to grow some more next year because I want to add to that and have enough to spend to at least make a table, not a tablecloth, but a dish rag. Just to say I made something with cotton that I grew on my own. And then this year, uh, this year I did the loofah and I have some loofah plants coming, but I don't know if I want to bring that, the rest of that plant in or not. I may, I'll decide next week. And then because they're growing slow and they're going to grow even slower once they're inside, if I do do it, I would like to be successful with it. So we'll see. But next year is the coffee plant. I have some coffee seeds. So I'm going to start the coffee plant in January of next year. I said I'm going to do it on New Year's Day. And so that'll be just something for me to do on New Year's. <laughs> so that's where I'm going to start it. Keep it under the grow light and let it grow, you know, and then in the uh, spring, I'll set it out. Okay, we're at 13 minutes, so y'all know it's time for me to go. Oh, and also, I might be getting a, a vlogging ca camera. They're on sale at Best Buy, and I have a Best Buy credit card with a lot on it, and they just sent me a notice telling me that I have to use it by the 1st of November, or else the card will become null and void, because I've only used it a couple of times since I've had it. But I just had it there just in case I needed an electronic or something like that. So I want to at least make one purchase. And so I guess I could go in and buy me a new iPad plug or something like that. But I thought, hey, this is the time where I could get, since the, the blogging camera kit is on sale, it's the camera with the screen. I can do the editing. Then it comes with the tripod. It comes with the hand tripod thing. It's really nice. And it's by Sony. And it's really nice, and it's it's like half off. So I'm thinking about going to get that, and then I'll just pay on it. I'll be done paying on it, hopefully, by next summer. And then that way, it keeps the card open for the next four or five years 
because you never know, you know, my iPad is old. And I thought about going and getting another iPad because the one I have is from 2015. But uh, other than I can't work the volume on it, nor can I work the sound. Uh, it's something else that's broke on the button part, but the iPad itself works well. But I know eventually that iPad is going to conk out and I don't want to go without an iPad. So I'm not going to get it yet, though, because, you know, iPads cost a lot more than what that camera would cost. But maybe and that's why I kept the card open, because just in case I ever have to get another iPad, that will be how I will get it. So I think I'm going to go with the camera. You know, that's just a couple of hundred dollars and that'll keep the card open and I'll still have enough on there to get an iPad if the time ever comes uh, to when I will need one. In the next four years, I'll probably definitely need a new iPad. So that I think that's the route I'm going to go. So I'm rambling. So anyway, oh, you know what? Let me show y'all my blessing. I'm going to cut on this light and, and once again, y'all, excuse my living room. I've been sick and haven't really had a time chance to clean. I've been keeping my bathroom and kitchen up and the living room is a hot mess. First of all, my mother's friend brought uh, this blanket uh, yesterday. As a matter of fact, her niece, which was a good friend of mine from elementary school, made this and she passed away a couple of years ago. And so uh, her niece's husband gave that to her, but it wasn't complete. It still, it was one skein of yarn left and she was right in the middle of it. So she wanted to know if I would finish it off for her. So I got it done. And so what I'm gonna do now, because it's an older blanket, uh, I can tell she worked on it for a long time. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna soften it up for her and make it look really nice and present it to her, give it back to her. And so what I did was I marked off where I began and where Tammy ended. So Tammy ended right here. And then I began, and so I marked it. So then when her aunt receives it, she'll know where, which, what, that her niece, you know, she'll know where I began uh, finishing it off and where her niece ended. So I know it's going to be sentimental to her, so I want it to be as nice as possible. But then I got blessed the other day. A friend of mine from high, from junior high and high school called me. Not, she didn't call me because she didn't have my number, but we're Facebook friends. She contacted me out of the blue, and she was telling me that her, her uh, mother, who can no longer do crafts and stuff, had inherited a whole bunch of books and magazines and stuff from her friend who had passed away in the early 90s. And she needed to get rid of this stuff. And so uh, my friend thought of me and she contacted me and asked me if I would like this stuff. Here it is, y'all, it's a lot. These books date back to 1949, y'all. Look at that. It's all kind of, it's crochet stuff, uh, sewing stuff, uh, embroidery, uh, iron-on transfers, any craft you can think of. Is in this pile. I haven't even gone through it yet. I'm going to go and get some gallon uh, uh, Ziploc bags and I have a container in my closet where I'm going to store all this after I get uh, the books into that because everything is in mint condition and she have a lot of this in plastic bags and stuff but I want to put them in the gallon size Ziploc bags so that they'll stay in pristine condition because I really don't know what's going to happen with it, uh, the collection later. But I know it's worth a lot, and I don't want to break anything up. My sister and I are going to go through it because my sister's a seamstress, so she will benefit from the sewing books. And the lady did tell me that whatever someone else can benefit from, if it's something that I don't do, you know, so I thought of my sister for that. And I do embroider myself, and I crochet. So um, that part, you know, will will be good for me. So my sister can get what she wants to get and then I'll pack the rest of it up and we'll go through everything because I haven't gone through it yet but I consider that a blessing okay so anyway let me get off because I'm at 20 minutes so I will talk to you guys later and may God bless you all this was an impromptu episode but I just wanted to show you uh, what's going on with the garden and share the wonderful news about the extra garlic that I'll be receiving so I'm very 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 happy about that so i will talk to you all later and uh i 
hope that your fall gardens are doing well, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.